Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 73 and the question I'm going to do is 21. So part 1 reads, or part a reads, sine a is a half, find two values between 0 and 360 for a. So the first thing is to find out what is a. So if sine, if sine a is equal to half, a is equal to inverse sine of a half, or, which is equal to, of course, arc sine. Remember, inverse sine and arc sine are the same thing, and you're going to get your angle of 30 degrees. So, the angle we're looking for is 30 degrees. Now, you've got to remember that these are ratios. It's like 1 divided by 2. So, let's just see something here. If what if I divide by, divide by uh, 2 divided by 4? That gives me a half. So, that 2 divided by 4 would give me the same angle. Okay, what I'm trying to show is, let's say this is my triangle here. This is 1, this is 2. Okay, so and that, that gives me 30 degrees. When I do sine of that angle, inverse sine of a half, I get 30 degrees. But what if I had this triangle? If you do the same thing, this will also be 30. And similarly, if I had this triangle here, uh, where this was 8 and 4, this would also give me the same angle, 30 degrees. Because it's just a ratio. It's how much bigger is one than the other. So there are plenty of angles which will give me a sine of a half. We just need to find them. Now the other thing you got to know as well is that on your units or on your circle, we'll say different angles. Uh, you can have like 30 degrees from 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 this axis, this one, this one, or this one. And because you can be either side of it, you could have 30 degrees here, 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 or here, here. That gives one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different uh, angles, which will give me. Well, without without making them a lot bigger, will give me a sick will give me sine of a half at thirty degrees. Okay, so what we need to be able to do is give one number that will will describe those the, those same lines. Uh, now I'll show you now what I mean. Say so here's our axis again. Okay, so this angle here, we said this was one two, and therefore this gives me sine thirty at a half. All right. What if I use this one. Okay, this angle here would also be thirty degrees. Now that's a bit. It's a bit. That's a bit. Uh, a bit ambiguous. It's a bit hard. Like you're saying, well, go for, go thirty degrees. Well, thirty degrees. Like as we're showing here, there could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sine angles where we get the same same uh, same sign. So what we always do is we use a reference point. And a reference point would be as follows. So this will be 0, 90, 180, 270, and of course back to 360. And this isn't ambiguous at all. There is only each angle only appears once in the circle, whereas this 30 is appearing multiple times. So what we'll do is we'll use this reference point and this it will tell you at what angle each of these lines is here, 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 and here, in reference to the zero point on my uh, on my axis. Okay, so let's just clear that up. Let's go to this angle here. We'll say this angle is 30. Well, then going from the axis like this, it's 90 plus 30, give me 120. So that angle, that's, that's very unambiguous. Draw an angle 120 degrees from zero. Similarly, this angle here, if I said this was 30, well, then we would be uh, going the whole way around like this. So this angle would be 90 plus 60, so 150. All right, so this that's unambiguous. Go 150 degrees, clock or anti-clockwise from zero. Okay, that's that's very unambiguous, and only only one angle will describe that line. I'll do one more. Of course, we said there are eight. There are actually loads. There are an infinite number of them. But anyway, that's beside the point. So we'll do this one here. Say so this angle is 30 degrees. Well, of course, that's ambiguous or a bit. It's it's not very certain. So this angle here, which would be 270 plus 30, so 300 degrees, will describe that. So there, if you there, pick any of those you want to be able to answer that part of the question. So part part B says the following. It says that a particle is fired from a point on a horizontal plane with initial speed 28 meters per second at an angle alpha, and we're told the range is equal to 40 meters. However, in question 18, we proved that S sub X, the range, is equal to U squared sine 
2 alpha over 2g. Now of course remember the book says that minus g is equal to 9.81 where I say g is equal to minus 9.81. For that reason I'm going to put a negative sign there. It's, a, it's the same thing of course, uh, it's just that I've of course accounted for the negative sign in a different place. So what do we know in this? We know that well, we know that u, for example, is equal to 28, so we get minus 28 squared sine 2 alpha over 2 times 9.81 is equal to 40, like so. And so let's just bring all those, well that's minus again, by the way, that becomes plus, so we get sine of 2 alpha is equal to um, 2 times 9.81 times 40 over 28 to be squared, like so. So sine 2 alpha is equal to. Let's just pull out the calculator again. So that's um, 2 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 40 divided by 28 divided by 28. That gives me 1. Is that correct? Hmm, I don't think that's correct. Just let me do that again now. 40 times 9.81. Oh, I knew it, yes, I knew it as was one out. In actual fact, I got that formula wrong there. It's actually just G. Sorry about that now. That's just that's just my error here. That makes sense. Okay, so the answer, if you do do with that sum that, you're going to get a half. So if sine 2 alpha is a half, we already know that uh, we know that sine 2 alpha is a half. We know the angles which give sine of a half, and they are 30, 150, 300, dot, 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 loads of them. So that means that 2 alpha must be equal to 30, 150, 300, dot, dot, dot. Alpha is equal to 15, 75, uh, 300, so that would be 150, dot, 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 like so. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.